see if we can see anything. All right. MF Dummies. Reload this page. I'm David Wilkes, and uh, welcome to my office. I'll try this one more time. Uh, it's pouring down rain, but I've got a lot of people asking me some questions that are really important today. Um, those questions are pertaining to a post that I made this morning. And that post is that I'm getting sick and tired of seeing these ambassadors follow some guy because he sold a million books um, with a whole bunch of information that's rehashed generations ago just with a little bit more spit polish stuck on it. I mean, it's like buying a new car when you didn't really need it and then polishing it when you really don't even drive it. So here's the difference here. You've got this guy who's out there telling people to come up with something unique, that you've got some free launch, you've got some amazing new opportunity, you know, to help the next four people that sign up. Well, going pro and being a professional means that you help everyone on your downline. You help all of those people who are pushing you up the ladder to climb to be a successful ambassador. And you are the one that is responsible for their growth as well as their, their own actions, but you're there for them and you're proving that you're there for them. Now, how do you do that? Well, you don't do it by reaching out and saying, I'm gonna help the next four people, when you certainly haven't even helped out the first four people that are underneath your downline. So, how can you step up? Well, you don't do it by saying, I'm gonna pre-launch to do something even bigger than what I've already accomplished, and I'm looking for an inner circle. No, 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 no. Work the whole circle. Work all of the people. Look at your downline. See the people who are not producing. You know, the real challenge is getting the people who can't produce to do something, to be successful, because those are the people that are disgruntled. Those are the people that are disenfranchised. Those are the people who don't think that this can be done, and yet they're looking at all these people that have thousands of people underneath them having a great fucking time. So how can you change that and make yourself the professional because if you help that person if you make that person successful then you will have a huge following you'll have a tremendous support for everything else that you have to accomplish and doing so will make you the real professional so what do i mean by that i don't mean go out there and spend a whole lot of ton of effort on groups okay Yes, it's good to post on them, but the same people that are posting in those groups are doing the same shit you're doing with auto-posting, flooding the groups, putting up shit that just really doesn't matter. We're all trying to come up with that one catchphrase. You know what the catchphrase is? My downline recommends me as your professional. That's what you need to do. Every Facebook page has the opportunity and the ability to have recommendations or reviews box on it. If you don't know how to do that, call me. My phone number is really easy. It's all over my page. I'm free to give it to you if you send me a PM. Okay? You have a review box. You have your downline give a statement about you, five stars, and with that, you have them tell the world why they should sign up under you. Why they, as a new ambassador, getting started in their own new business, working under you, why should they sign up under you? Because if you can prove that, and you can have other people vouch for you, then you're the professional. Then you have something that people will have that's different than everybody else posting the exact same thing over and over in every single group. Is that clear? You understand how that works? You go to the page, you get on your page, and it shows you Scroll down. I've got it online. As soon as it loads. Well, okay, I get down for a few ways. I'm posting a lot. It'll just be like, there's all the pies. Where are the reviews? Ah, there they are. If you 
click at the top of the page, you'll see right here it says update page info, liked and reviewed. Now obviously, if someone's visiting your page, they won't see where it says update page info. They'll see where it says, you know, like, review, message. Well, when you click the reviewed, and you look at that, it brings up that I get excellent reviews all the way across on that. And that's what people see. Now, if they scroll down, you'll see right here, here's the spot where people can give you five stars, click on this link, and then write a review about your professionalism, what you did for them, and their beliefs on why other people should jump in and take care of backing you, you know, signing up. If you don't have people that are willing to do that, then you're not a professional, and you shouldn't be reaching out to someone else. Not at all. I can turn this camera around, you see there's not a car in front of me, but there's a line of them behind me. Nobody will pass the Moses. We're doing 75 miles now. Anyway, see, this is what's important. You want a new person to come to your page and see review after review that you're doing what's right. And that's important. Now, how do you get new people to come to your page without, and I'm saying, without selling advertising, without posting in 400 groups per day? Well, that's really easy. And I proved it on our Mr. Bill page. The Mr. Bill page, I set that up. We'll go to that page real quick. I set up the Mr. Bill page so that you can look at that page as an example of what you should be doing. So that you can see, this is what I need to be doing to get new people, fresh people, to like my page, to see my info, to find out what it is that I'm doing, and to follow me. Now, you'll see, none of that stuff's paid. None of it. Of course, Mr. Bill's kind of funny. But I built this page two weeks ago. I entered the content within the first day. Most of it, while I was driving her in the hotel, you look at it as 487 likes, and I've done nothing. I haven't posted in one group. I have 286 people are talking about this page. Why? Well, because it has great content. If you go right here, this little tab that says photos, you click that. Then you go to albums. You'll see the basics of this page are very simple. I got Mr. Bill's Halloween, best Halloween recipes. Hey, what are we eating right now? Pumpkin. Everybody loves pumpkin, right? I've got inspirational photos right here. Mr. Bill's in, 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 bleh, can't talk. Inspirational videos. Video. Wow, I just say that? I'm doing a video. Then I've got my Plexus products of the product and Mr. Bill's healthy meal tips. Now, when you visit the page, you don't see a whole lot of Plexus this, Plexus that, puke and Plexus all over the page. My God, you ladies got to get a grip on that shit. It's really just unprofessional. The people that know you have probably already hidden your page. The people in your downline are, are the only ones that are looking at your shit because they're probably stealing it and putting it on their wall which just makes your whole team weak. And I mean really weak. If you really want to step up your game, if you really want to reach outside the box, get with the program. There's nobody in Plexus, nobody, not the most professional person in Plexus, has got thousands of people talking about it. They just don't. Not even on the corporate site that has 50,000 people, fans of the page, they don't have more than 3,000 people talking about them. My Got Shit for Sale page has got a higher people talk about ratio than Plexus Worldwide. Why? Because I got good content. I have content that people want to see. I have content that people want to share. How do I reach these people? By doing the simple basics. 
and find something that people want to share, that people want to talk about, and they want us to know about. And then that's what gets the new people who are looking for you to come in and check it out. Here's what I mean. This page here, I didn't post anything for a week. Not a week. And it got a reach of 10,000 people. Post reached 851. That means 851 people are reached with every single post. 258 clicks. Hey, that's not bad. That means 258 people saw something in the ticker, clicked it, and went to the page to check it out. Most likely, those people went to the page and liked it. That's where you get more people. So let's look at why it's really, really falling up. I go up here to posts, I click this, and I go to my pumpkin pie, non-fans, this is my internet from Right on the highway kicks in. I mean, look at these numbers. 887 people, non-fans. That's the people that never have ever seen the big page before. Here's 641 people that were never fans of my page saw my note about healthy seeds. You know, pumpkin seeds. And that makes a difference. That makes a huge difference. So, when you're looking to really make a benefit change, you gotta do that. You gotta step up, get outside the box, and make a difference. I mean, here's a page I created last night at 10 o'clock at night. It has 61 likes already. 61 just started the page a day ago. Not even a full day, not even 24 hours, you know? Yeah, this is a crazy name for a page, got shit for sale. You want to see some sick numbers? Check this out. We'll go to the insights on this page. There you go. That's what we talk about engagement. 3,567 likes. We were at 3,000 yesterday. And it's 567 likes in just over 24 hours. That's 81,000 people in reach. But here's the best part. Post reach. I mean, how far the posts have gotten where people have actually seen it, clicked it, and checked it out? 23,000. 16,000 of those people came back and checked out the site. That's awesome. That's numbers. 5,500 people got engaged into the post, made a click, made a suggestion. That's 161 shares. What are you doing to make people share your page? Yeah, let's go back to dummies and check this out. If you're not doing the basics, if you're not getting out there with what needs to be done, you're not going to be successful. If you go to the Easy Living website, here we go. 287,000 people are talking about recipes off this one site. Let me let that sink in a bit. 287,000 people are talking about this page. They have 50,000 more people talking about it than actually like the page. And that's 232,000. Right? Now, how many people are talking about Mr. Party's page? Nowhere near that amount. How many people are talking about the Flex's page? Not even a drop in the bucket to that amount. So, what makes you think that the pretty pictures that you're having made up that look cheesy, cheap, and shitty to begin with are going to get somebody to sign up? You keep telling these people that you want to help them, you want to be a professional, and yet you post crap like that? Really? Come on. Be serious. It's a billion dollar business, and yet you're going to put up $20 pictures, $5 pictures, freebie pictures? That crap doesn't sell, and it doesn't impress anybody that wants to have the, the earnest effort 
who puts together the earnest effort, I should say, to become a professional. So, in doing so, do something that works. Get your albums set up so they will make you money. And that means getting new people who are not your friends, who are not already your fans, who are not your downline, going to your page. You do that by setting up an album for recipes. Okay? Easy recipes that are seasonal, that everybody likes to enjoy. You're in the food month. Stop trying to make people lose weight. I mean, you're not going to do it. You've got to have a game plan. If you think people are going to sign up today only because it's the thing in your life, it's just not going to happen. Put yourself on a four to five month game plan and watch it happen. Notice that right now, we're coming in out of October. We're almost in Thanksgiving. We're in the food months. So focus on that. Focus on the food months. Focus on the fact that we're going to be tons of great recipes out there. Everybody's got a way to cook a turkey. Everybody's got a way to do something with cranberry. Focus on that. Focus on making sure that people are subscribing to your posts, that they're following you online, and that they're reaching out to get your next recipe to share with their friends. Now, what do you do in December? Well, you know what? December is all about family, food, cooking, candies, great shopping. Come up with an album that has great shopping ideas, great candy ideas. Post in the albums only. Do not ever post on your timeline. Why? When you post on your timeline, the picture goes down the page and it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you at all. And what ends up happening is you get all of these posts pushed down your timeline and nobody ever sees it. Your new person to the page, all they see is your latest puking of Plexus that day. So get off that train. Step away, wave it goodbye, and never get back on again. Get in your own little albums. Make sure you have a testimonial album. Plexus products by product. Okay? Make sure that all of your before and after pictures are in one album. Only one album. Because here's the deal. You're going to share a photo about pumpkin pie. My pumpkin pie, classic pumpkin pie, got saw by 68,000 people in its first week. 68,000 people who had never seen my page, never knew about dummies, never knew about any of the stuff that I do online. 68,000 people saw that post. Over 150 people shared it. Now that's some serious, that's some serious traffic. That's traffic that made people come back to the page, like it, and subscribe it so they could get the next update. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to reduce the amount of work you have to do. Again, I got all that traffic, and I didn't make one post the entire week. Not one. Not a one. So how can you do that? How can you make sure that you're getting it right? You go in there, and you find the right posts. Now, we've got Christmas. Now we've got New Year's. People got New Year's parties. People have got great recipes for a New Year's party. Support that. Reach out. Again, you'll still be posting every now and then, maybe once, twice, three times during the week. Not, that, not a whole lot. Three or four times during the week, a Plexus update about the products, something informal, something that's informational, but don't blow up the page about the same shit all day long. It just doesn't do you any good. So here it's going to come. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Super Bowl. First week in January. People are making their New Year's resolution, but they're going to kind of wait until after Super Bowl. And you're thinking, ladies don't give a shit about football. No, but they're men do. So here you go. You work with these people. You help them lose. You help fatten them up. You help give them all the great recipes for the past three months. You've got thousands of people in traffic now. You're now confirmed. You're now validated. These people know you're not just trying to sell them something. Bam! That's when you 
looking at it. Boom, that's right, that shit just happened. You set up and you start hitting them. Let's get ready for this spring, ladies. Let's get ready for St. Patty's Day. Let's get ready for Mardi Gras. Yeah, that's right, Mardi Gras. Then you gotta set up and you go, here's how I can help you lose the weight. Here's how you can have these great spring recipes. Here's how all these wonderful foods can help you lose the weight. Now, you've got people who've been listening to you, following your tips, they believe in you, and then bam, you got them. It's nothing new because you've had that shit on your site for the last three months. Those are gonna be the people that are coming to you who trust you as a professional. Meanwhile, you're out there, you're canvassing, you're doing what you do, and you're getting new sign-ups. What's wrong with that? Sign them up, get the money, get the check, get paid. Be a professional. Stop with the bullshit posts in the groups and be a professional. I really can't say it any other way than that. I'm trying to help you guys, but you gotta help yourselves and not posting that crap, because that's what it really is. And when a real professional sees it, when someone like me, who's sitting here on Facebook, working with Facebook, working with developers, helping people with new programs and new ways to post and stuff like that, when I see a guy that's all spit polished like that, who's done nothing to copy a book that was written 30, 40 years ago by another professional that made it great, you know, I gotta say, it's, it must be nice to be a billionaire. It really must be. But I would love to see him try and navigate his way through a Facebook page and tell somebody how to set it up. And I would love to see him sit there and actually reach to people without a bunch of rhetoric bullshit and tell them how to do their job to be successful. So tell them how to get off their ass and be successful. Because you know what? The lady that's got three kids at home working a full-time job, trying to do plexus in the evening, and is 50 to 100 pounds overweight, she doesn't give a shit about all that. She wants results and she wants them now. She wants her page to work. And if you're that person, call me, because I will get you there. I've got a lot of people that will recommend this shit and tell you I've done the same thing for them. So have a nice day.